Gonzaga sophomore Savannah Blinn had 39 kills this week and wins over Santa Clara and San Francisco. And for the second time this season, she was named the West Coast Conference Volleyball Player of the Week. Welcome, Savannah. Hi. You're only a sophomore. What does it mean to you to make, be making such an impact this early in your career? Um, it honestly, it means everything to me because, I mean, even though I'm young, I've been putting in so much work and so much time in the gym. And, you know, just putting in all those hours and just really focusing on all the things that I need to work on and then just being recognized for all that, it means the world to me. You had a um, monster week. What do you feel like was going right for you this past week? I feel like my team was finally starting to flow. I mean, all of our, every little piece that we've been working on in practice finally transferred to game time. So everything that we've been working on in practice, finally just, we just hit the nail on the head and we were flowing and we just ran with it. So it was awesome. And with 10 wins on the year so far, your team's actually seen one of the best seasons it's seen in a long time. What do you feel like is the yeah. reason for that? I feel like our coaches have been working really hard on creating a specific system for us, and we're finally really putting that system to work. So when we run our system, we win games. And when we don't run our system, we lose games. So when we figure it all out, we run our system, and we're all on the same page, that's when we run with it, and that's when we win all of our games. So, yeah. Do you feel like the success you guys are having and all of that kind of coming together and really starting to click can really help to lay the groundwork for this program in the future? Oh, absolutely. I feel like if we just keep doing what the coaches tell us, keep working hard in practice, and just keep running our system, I feel like we can be WCC champions. Easy. Conference play is winding down, only a couple more weeks for you guys. What do you think your team has to do well to finish strong on the year? I feel like we just really need to stay focused. Um, our coaches do a really good job at putting together practice plans, and so we just need to keep working hard in practice and just keep fine-tuning those little details that are separating us from like the top contenders in our conference. And so if we just keep working hard in practice and keep um, – pinpointing all those little things that we need to work on, I think that we'll be just fine towards the end of the season. And you guys have Portland and then BYU the following week. Coming up is your next two games. What do you think are going to be the keys to having success in those matches? I feel like Portland, all we need to do is just keep a level head and just run our system and we'll be fine. But with BYU, we got to come to play. They're an amazing team. They put up a huge block. We just, I feel like the last time we played them, we were a little intimidated by how well that they blocked us. But if we just keep a level head and just keep our minds right, I think that we'll be fine. As long as we just run our system, we'll be good. All right, Savannah. Well, thanks so much for joining me, and congratulations on your Player of the Week award. Thank you very much.